Hello there, Internet version 2 here with Let's Play Monster Hunter World. Today, in our quest to try and do all of the quests for the Arch-Tempered uh, motherfuckers, today is Diostra. Um, I was going to do Kishala Deora next, but then I realized I'm a fucking coward. Um, and I am terrified of actually fighting Arch-Tempered Kishala Deora. Because you can't actually knock Kishala Deora Arch-Tempered out of the sky with flash pods. AKA, I have no goddamn idea how to fight the damn thing. I have tried it a couple times with a light bow gun on just normal tempered Kushala, and while it goes okay, it doesn't go good enough for me to want to try um, arch tempered with that. So I'm still gonna have to use sword and shield for it, but I don't know how the fuck to do that. So I'm gonna do Tiostra, because I've done Tiostra a bunch, because uh, I had to get the Dante layered armor that I'm currently wearing. So I'm good with that. So we've got our normal thing on. I've got the same setup that I had for the other thing with my shroom set up, so I've got the full on mushroom ants and stuff here. I've got fire boosts and the miasma thing and everything else is basically the same because what's making specific sets for specific monsters to take on when you can just have something that's powerful and just take on everything with just that alone? You know, we thought we crossed the same shit as Zora Magdaros, but maybe we've both been drawn to Xenogiva all along. People keep talking about how they like Zora Magdaros and it's just like, yeah, just because Zora Magdaros created Iceborne, possibly. Still not 100% sure if that is exactly what happened there, but it's fine. Anyway, Scorn of the Sun, let's go. Also, during this, we get to see Arch Tempered Kishala Deora. So, it works out in both ways there. So, that's, like, even better. Did I eat? I did eat. And I've set up my items, I am pretty sure. Let me just check my item pouch. Yes, I have my Mandragoras and my Devil Blights, and I got all my other stuff. So, we are all good. Also, just kind of double checking. I am low on something. Well, I'm really low on mega potions. But I do have 579 potions. But I've only got 600 honey. I need, I need like a thousand honey. I need to do the, just like do a bunch of low level quests that are easy. Just like grind out tempered monsters that are easy to kill. And just let all my resources stock back up while killing a bunch of tempered monsters to try and get the stuff that I need for. I should be just taking on Arch, uh, not Arch Tempered, well maybe Arch Tempered, but no, not Arch Tempered. Normal Tempered Valhazak just constantly, because I can do that and use like, I guess I'd use a lot of potions for that actually, because of the way it works, so that still pro pro probably may not be the best idea, that's fine. Whatever, whatever, not important, not important. So what we're doing today is Teostra. I think that took me a long time to do when I first did it with people to get um, the stuff that we've got here. But, um, you know, since then, I've got way better armor. I was, I'm pretty sure that was back when I was still using the beetle stuff, actually. Um, and also with people, I was with people who were also pretty bad at the game. Hi, Teostra. It's lying down like a cat, so I'm just going to start with a spot of this. Did I have my seeds? I did not. I'm just taking damage from just being next to you. I'm try I'm I'm trying to do the thing. Boom! <laughs> I made him mad. Ah fuck! I, I thought that was gonna be you roaring, shit. Eat the damn Mandragora. <laughs> Oh no, I already ate it the first time. Did not realize. Okay. Raw Tiostra mad! Ah, uh, actually, you know what I should do? Um, where the fuck is it? I can't even say. No, it is there! I was just on the wrong I was on the wrong thing. I should have quit flashpots. Flashpots don't knock Archim uh, you you out of the sky, but it can blind you enough that I could, you know, survive a little bit longer while we're there. Ah, uh, Tiostra. It's been a while since I've actually fought one of these. When I've been doing just like other fights against um tempered monsters, just like uh, um like elder dragons to just like try and grind for stones and stuff. It's always been Valhazak or Shaladeora. Mainly Valhazak. Valhazak's incredibly easy. Um, like I did a like I've I fought a lot of Teostras just because of the amount of Dante stuff that required it. Like the normal Dante armor and the late Dante armor both required fighting Teostras. Um, like, I already have the late armor for this, and I already have one of the pieces of, um, Teostra Gamma armor. But I've never done this on, on my own. Because that, because I've always saved the solo ones for my own. Which I don't, which part of me is just like, I don't know why 
because I, because <laughs> with as well as Zuck, um, had, had definitely shown me I have an easier time doing it on my own. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm curious how this is gonna go. Because when I, when I first went through the game, if you remember Slash, even bothered to watch Slash if anyone's watching this, Tiostro was my first, like, um, war point. Um, really. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, Mandragora, please. I can't get up. Mandragora, Mandragora, Mandragora. There we go. Okay, that was good. Okay, and now we're just gonna pop Temporal Mantle because you're now mad. I do also have a uh, Fireproof Mantle because, well, just survivability is the most important thing for this. But yeah, when I was first going through this game and I beat Nergigante, um, and then I was like, alright, now do the other three other dragons. Geostro was the war that I had, the one that I was unable to defeat, and, I and how much um, I got stomped by original Teostra made me realize, huh, I need to get way more ready for this before I even uh, remotely begin considering attempting this again. And then I kind of stomped it. Oh god. Wow. Wow, Temporal Mantle actually avoids that. I did not realize that. I thought I thought that was one of the attacks Temporal Mantle couldn't avoid, but no! Temporal Mantle can avoid your supernova attack, which I was not even paying attention to whether you were doing it or not. You were in angry mode and did have the clouds all over you. I shouldn't have been paying attention to that. But hey! Just uh, fire from Mantle and it's fine. Man, the fact that it didn't even hurt me. I don't even know if it stopped uh, it interrupted my attack because I was in the air doing the launching attack for it. Ugh. Yeah. Well, I, I like, like, like first doing Joshua is like, oh wow, I got my ass handed to me. Doing Joshua since is just like, I do find Joshua a fun fight. It is one of the fights where it's just like, it was like, Joshua was a big part of why I developed the Beetle build the way I did, and the way I developed the Beetle build has like very much guided the way that I've like made most of my builds since then. And it's because, oh god, this is actually out. Uh, okay, I didn't realize that. Now, oh, perfect fucking timing. Thank you. Alright, that's gone. Okay, I definitely need to sharpen. But, um, yeah, like, the way I made the beetle build and all of the builds since then have been, like, basically just enhancements of that same thing was because of Teostra. Because fighting Teostra, because it's only weak spot that is really accessible and easy to hit with the sword and shield, is its face. I was just like, okay, I'm going to be constantly fighting its face. I need to be ready for that so i need a way to be able to fight its face and be a bit safer than what i would um and be a bit safer which is how i developed the beetle build the beetle build is entirely built around being able to being to be reckless because i won't be taking as much damage while that's happening and any mistakes that i make i can recover from way faster that was the whole point of that here we go turf war my kushala you're next motherfucker because i'm definitely saving lanostra for last oh damn Gajalakas just came in and just blew the crap out of them. Nice, okay. I don't know how much damage they did, but that they ran away because of the turf war doesn't exactly help me, but hey! Thank you! <laughs> Piece of cake. Don't mention it. Man, they can come in and help during Elder Fights. That's awesome. But, um, yeah, it was because of Teostra that I realized, huh, oh, that I'm going the wrong way, that, yeah, attacking the face is an important part of this. I don't need to be safer while I'm doing it. So I developed the beetle builds based around being able to be reckless without taking a shitload of damage. And that has influenced every fight since. Um, or every build since, I should say. I should actually use the right words. Where the hell's the, um, crystal burst? There it is! Yeah, come over here. Come over here. You're down here, so fuck you. That was not even remotely close to this one. That's not one of them, actually. That one is. Boom! Oh, there it is! Wow, I didn't even knock you down. <laughs> That, didn't, that actually didn't even knock you down. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. A lot of fuckers get stunned by that. Is that not one of them I can knock down to? Well, that one wasn't one I can knock down to. Oh, well, you knocked it down there. So. There is this one. Over here, though. Come over this way a little bit more. Come on. Boom! And again! Ah. Oh. Get fucking wrecked, Teostra. Oh, oh, that is glorious. Oh, that's what you like to see. That is what's good to see. 
This Yoshiro Beard during Art Champion, um, Lunostra to do the tornado, um, not the tornado, the, the, the dual attack. Because if so, I'm fucking terrified of that. Also, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I need to heal. Mandragora Blaze, and you're still angry. I've got a fireproof mantle. Let me do that while you're in fire mode. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, this is the. Is that. Like, there's so many other monsters where it's just like, I can attack, like, their weak points. Um, like, while being relatively safe. And Teostra is a bit harder for that. Because. The way you want to attack Teostra is its face. Underbelly aren't, ain't weak, back legs aren't weak. I'm pretty sure it's front legs are weak, but not as weak. Yeah, it's front legs are still weak. That's still basically the face, though. I should probably get ready for the, uh, attack, shouldn't I? I don't know. <laughs> Oi! Okay, okay, you did that one. Okay. okay. Whoa! God, okay. Okay, I just want to drink this. Ow! Oh, God, you're a dick. Oi! Fuck off! <laughs> it's no point. No point for that. I'm just being silly. Okay. I, like, I don't know when you're gonna do it, and I don't have Temperamental, and right there it is. No, that was more than far enough away. See, so, normally you can Flash Pod, um, Teostra out of that, but you can Flash Pod and stop Teostra from doing that in Arch Champion. He won't do the explosion. But he does keep the Elder Aura on him. He does keep all of the little smoky bit clouds over him. So it doesn't actually help because it just means that he's in way angrier mode for longer. And it still won't end until he does the attack. So like it it like it's also the kind of thing where it's like if you can't escape it, you can flash put him out of it to do it. But it just means you're gonna need to survive more dangerous Geostra for longer. Because you he stays in that while while that's happening, which is uh not great. Not a great thing. Like, I don't even know if to, I don't know if Teostra ever falls out of the sky while flying in Arch Champion. I know Kushala Deora doesn't, and that's why I'm terrified of fighting Kushala Deora. Because it's impossible to flash put it out of the sky. Okay, the only reason that I'm ever actually able to fight fight you. Come on, fucking you're not you're not leaving. You think you're leaving? Hell no! Okay, I guess you are actually. Okay. Can't tell if you're nearly dead or not. You, the way you walked away for a second there looked like you were limping, but I'm not sure. No, it's not because of where you've gone. You've not gone far enough away to do that, so it's fine. Hey, dragon bone relic. I don't know why I'm grabbing this stuff. I, I feel like that sometimes I'm just like, I don't grab items enough, and I pro should probably do that. Um, where is crafting mega potions? Do I not have, do I seriously not have crafting mega potions on this list? No. What is wrong with me? Seriously? Okay. Uh, it turns out I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot and I have crafting bows on there instead. Uh, okay. Well, before I go down any further, let me just fucking chuck that on there. Customize radial menu. I have to remind myself to do this at some point. I am stupid. <laughs> there we go. And that- There it is! Wow, I can't believe I actually have that fucked up in this, um, this build. That is silly of me. Remove that. Let's give it time to regen. Oh, I need a I need I need a cool drink. Uh, cool drink. There we go. Thank you. You're still in mad mode, aren't you? Try this instantly. Yeah. Yes. The answer is yes. By the way, <laughs> the answer is yes. I should most definitely just instantly temple this. There we go. Man, thank you, Lenosha, for being in the game because having temporal mantle is the most broken shit ever. I love having just a full, like, 60 seconds, is it 60 or 90 seconds, I always forget, of just absolute basic invinci- like, effectively invincibility. It's so good. Hey, you know that vitality mental that I always used to rely on, because it just made you, like, take a bunch of damage? What if that, but it didn't run out when you took too much damage, and just ran out over time? Oh my god. I feel like I should not be knocking you down this frequently. I mean, one, admittedly, one of those times was due to a giant fucking boulder falling on your face twice, but still, damn. Urgh, urgh. Boom, I'm gonna exhaust you. I'm not, but I'm going to. But seriously, I've got no idea how I'm gonna take on um, Kushala. I've got absolutely no idea how to do Kushala. You can't attack Kushala while Kushala's in the sky. And that's all Kushala does. 
Oh, it's that the thing that's in the sky all the time and just causing like AOEs for areas that you just can't walk into. Okay, that's gonna go absolutely fantastically for for me. The weapon with like the shortest range in the game. Sword and shield uh sorry, the sword and shields or um dual blades have a shorter like effective range. I'm not even I don't even know that. I'm not even sure. Alright, well things about to run out. This is gonna be bad timing for it, because you're about to do your thing. Well, that worked out alright. <laughs> oh, that's what I meant. Remember that. There we go. Oh god. Whee! That felt like I should, that should have hit me. I'm calling bullshit on that. That I feel like that fire went through me. I also didn't sharpen in between um, last fight and this fight. That's fine. That's fine. That's a mistake that you're allowed to make here. No, it's great having a weapon that you never have to sharpen in the middle of combat because, well, you never have to sharpen it. Except for when you do. And then you don't. And then that's really tough. Yeah, it's not even gonna hit me. Fucking, ah, oh, that a white sharpness on, and now actually bouncing off parts here. Damn it. Get away, get away from me. Where are you going? I don't even know where you, there you are. Oh God, oh God, insect cloud dust. It's basically what it is. It's insect clouds. Insect, insect glaive clouds. What are they, cold drones? Cold drones? Multiple different types, I don't know if there's a generic name that applies to all of them other than insects. Is there a name that applies to all of them regardless of their type? Because I, I don't know it if, it, if there is one. Oh yeah, get hit by the fucking lava, you dipshit. Just, just, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna blow up. Somehow didn't blow up. Uh, this isn't going well though. I don't have an opportunity to really do anything. You've entered really piss mode way faster than I realized you would. And uh, I'm not liking this. I'm just gonna... <laughs> You know what this is? It's, I don't have either mantle. Fuck, I'm scared. Because I'm a coward. Alright, there you go. Run away. You still don't look exhausted, and that concerns me. As in nearly dead. Uh, should I go back and restock? Yes. I'm pretty sure you're full. Yeah, you're full. Uh. You're kind of staying there, but. Fuck it. I'm still gonna restock. I might as well. I might as well. I might have one fight that goes really poorly. Might as well restock. Here we go. Alright, item box, manage items, uh, okay, uh, shrooms, here we go. I was gonna fucking undo my radial menu. God damn it. I'm so stupid, okay, okay, fuck it, we're doing it live. Customize rate, I'll work because I will forget to do this outside of the video if I don't do it now. Um, <laughs> okay, go into here, I'm going, if I don't do it now, I'm going to forget. Item box, manage items, go into here, save this over shrooms, boom, there you go, now I can actually make them on the fields. I have 10 honey, might as well make it possible for me to use it, also I don't think I actually popped any of my seeds after that first um, fight either. Hmm. And I'm forgetting a lot of things in between fights. This is called not taking it seriously. <laughs> This is called being reckless and forgetting all of the prep work that you have set up in your um, builds because your sword and shield and your whole fucking deal is prep work most of the time. And then you forget to do it because you don't take the challenges that the game is presenting as you as seriously. And then you realize that, fuck, I'm going to die. And then you wonder why you're so bad at the video game. It's because you didn't test it. You didn't, oh wow, you just immediately started with that. I mean, that's, I'm okay with this. Devil's Blight, boom. Slightly increase my stamina again, because it's been decreasing a lot in fights. Fights are going a lot longer than I realize they are because of these arch-tempered things. And I'm, I don't have any type of stake or rations in the middle of quests anymore, so I never actually restock any of it. Oh, so I'm silly. Whee! That was way shorter range than I, than I thought it was gonna be. Ah, yeah! Oi! No, I'm doing, oh, free heals, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Diostra. I'm gonna do leaping attacks and I need you to let me do them. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, try and get me off. Fucking dare ya. Yeah, what, what? I've realized I never need to brace. I've become the master mounter and I don't even have the master mounter charm on. Oh, look at me go. Yeah! Alright, come on, can I get it in? Yes, I can. Oh, 
Uh, see, I know I've like I can get the infinite and it's awesome. When I've truly excelled at it is being able to like gauge roughly when to let the infinite end so I can time it perfectly with getting that final smack in uh, with the sword because it does more damage than any of the shield bashes. That's the true, that's the true skill I need to get good at. Okay, well you're almost dead now, so that's good. Yeah, limp away, you fucking coward. Yeah, limp away and then fly, just like perfectly fine. Look how fucked up your wings are though. How are you even doing that? That's impressive. Man, and just think, this is what happens when I use builds that aren't specifically designed for a particular monster. I just slightly modified this to be slightly more defensive based because of Mushroom Mensa, and also have um, fire resistance. Like, my mantles are designed around this fight. I don't have anything else designed around it. Oh, this build is just so fucking good. Like, I made that um, initial, I've got that initial rebellion build, and it's just, I can modify that and just swig it in slight particular ways, and it's just suitable for goddamn everything, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so good. I can't believe it works as well as it does on most everything I fight in this game. It's kind of amazing. I mean, I'm obviously... Is this your face? Yes, it is. <laughs> Shut up. Um, it's. Oh, I'm obviously not speedrunning anything. Like, even these fights are taking, like, 20 minutes. But... I'm doing well at all of them and like not dying and I'll fucking take that. I'll take that. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I try to get the, also the head in like uh, as well to hit and oh god damn it. Fuck this. I don't like where this is going. Uh, that's not so hey, the Mandragora. Thank you. And we're gonna immediately put on the temporal mantle. <laughs> Because I am scared. There it is. Oh, Filgan still damaged me. And like a decent amount, too. Me just taking the fire damage, just standing next to you, is like out doing my healing. Um, from that. There it is. Yeah! Come on, quickly do your explosion attack so I can just get a free temporal mental dodge out of it. So I don't even have to worry. Because once you're here, after you, like, your aura ends from that attack, you basically go back into it almost immediately from memory. <laughs> well, I don't even think that's a, a specific to Arch Ten, but I just think and I think any Tiostro is just like, once you get to the final phase of the fight, it just is constantly able to um, be in this mode, even after a supernova. I don't even, I don't know if that's in a proper name or an official name for any attack. I don't know if any attacks that the monsters have in this have official names. But I call it the supernova attack. Because it's just basically it blowing up. So it sounds cool. Concerned by how um, little you're not doing your supernova attack right now while I've got temperamental. Although, you just roared a little bit, so hopefully you're doing it soon. I mean, this thing's almost out. I mean, if you don't do it, I'm just going to immediately chuck on Fireproof Mantle. There it is. Boom! And I might as well... Yep, there we go. Perfect timing. Get out of the sky, you prick. Oh, God, look at the lava. This lava doesn't even hurt you. The lava in the other areas does, but the, no, this is my hometown, so my lava doesn't hurt me. Okay, fucking... I, I keep forgetting to put my wheel right on, back onto the top one. Because it will fuck me over if I'm like, oh, let's heal up. Wait, no, I'm accidentally sharpening my weapon. So, which some might notice as almost the exact opposite of what you'd want to happen. Oh, God. Ugh. Come on, I've done so much damage to you. There it is. Yeah. Oh, man. Arch tempered shit ain't got shit on me. Outside of Charlotte, I'm still scared about that. I'm still scared about Lenostra. Oh, fucking. What? 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 I mean, I know, I know it took like 20 minutes, but I don't care about time. I care about success. And hey, success without dying is the best type of success. And I ain't speedrun this shit. I'm doing it effectively. Fuck yeah. Boom! Oh man. Oh, this build is too fucking over. It's too fucking powerful. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's just, it works so damn well. Like, it's a build where it's just... Like, you've got so much damage output, but so much shit to keep you safe and, like, healing the entire time. It just... 
it works shockingly well on so many different parts of this game. Fuck making different mix sets for each individual monster. Who cares about that shit? I mean, if you want to do it in like under 10 minutes, you'll need to care. But if you don't care about that, if you don't want to have to grind a bunch to make an outfit so you can cut a hunt down by half of the time, then you just do what I do here and it fucking works. Boom. Uh, no face stones, but I did get a solid stream stone. Not even a hero stream stone. Uh, that's annoying. Make it for the sword and shield. Blade. Do it. Range! Light bow gun and heavy bow gun. Um, I can't remember what rarity the bow gun that I use actually is. I think it's Odogaron, so I think that might actually count for that. Unless the Odogaron one actually did get up to the highest rarity. But I still need two of them. Because even for the warrior stream... Like, warrior stream is only used for the lower rarity weapon, so it's just like, oh cool, it's still for the lower ones. But you need two for each slot instead of one, so I still need another one to even use that. And then the lower rarity ones usually have multiple things on them. I say this, the Odogaron one may be high enough that it still doesn't even count. It may be maximum rarity, so I'd still need the hero shrink stone for it. This is why I haven't bothered with trying to get a bunch of stream stones. Because you get them rare as fuck, and even when you do get them, they could be for a weapon that you don't use, and then you need a bunch of them, and it's just... Eh... Like, that and decorations, like... There was a point in this game where grinding for, like, monster parts to make armor or weapons was fine, and I was fine with it, because it's like, you hunt the same monster, like, two or three times. If you're looking for a gem, maybe four or five times, or just use the, um, Wyperian Prince, and you're done, and it's good, and you're happy, and you get what you need, and it's just like, the grinding part is like, you're still grinding out, because you're killing the same monster a couple times in a row for the sake of, like, the randomized drop for it, and that was fine. Once you got to the decorations and the stream stones, the chances of getting what you wanted became so goddamn low that I've never bothered. And I've got a lot of good decorations and other stuff, but I've almost always gotten it as an accident while trying to do something else outside of, like, the stuff I got from the greatest Jagras. Because that was easy as fuck to grind it, because you would get, like, a full appraisal box very, very quickly. Whereas for everything else, it's just, nah, nah. I can't. I can't do it. Like, even hunting, like, tempered Valhazaks just a bunch. It's just, I'm not bothered to do that to try and get stream stones. Because the chance of getting a stream stone is low. The chances of it being, like, a hero's one is even lower. And then you've got to fucking luck into it being for the weapon that you want. And I'm just, no. No, I'm not gonna... Uh, if I get it, I get it. I'm very happy with... Uh, well, Elder Dragon Culling, obviously. Large well, Monster Capture, I will fucking take that, and the others can just stay there. Also, I deliver the thing for, um... That, but... If I just go over to this, I already have the Dante Laid Armor. Because I got that forever ago. But what I did do in between, um... I did do one thing in between. Um, I got the... Uh, I got the Kirin one. So let's look at that. Like, I'm so happy that I managed to luck into a hero streamstone blade as early as I did, because it was basically like the second or third streamstone that I ever got, and I was 100% not aiming for it. And now, my sword and shield here has auto heal, um, has heal augment on it. I'm very, very happy that I have that, because it kind of makes the whole build work around peak performance, but still, I was fucking lucky on that. Um, I did get the, um, oh, this thing looks terrible without the colors. I don't like the brigade thing when it's not white, but it's amazing how well the white works for it, considering... Oh, whatever. Here's the Blossom one! Yeah. I realized... It wasn't until I got this that I remembered. Oh, yeah, I'm actually not that huge of a fan of the Blossom layered armor, am I? No, I'm not. Not really. Also, um... If you want to turn it to white to go full French made... Oh, God, it's so goddamn white. Oh, it's so white. Uh, it's so overwhelming. But if you just do this... Like, it's a little bit better. I don't know what you'd put on here instead. Put on that. So, that, that looks cool. I, I, li I like the look of that. Because that, that gets close to the... Well, showing off the sexy legs with the booty skirt and the garter belt and the and the boots and everything. I mean, that that's that's a little bit closer to the per um, pervert French maid outfit that you want. It doesn't have this, which is an iconic part of it. But this thing is so glaringly bright when it's white in this. And it's just, yeah. Yeah, like, I like the boots for it. Like, even outside of the whole booty shorts and garter belt 
I actually like the boots themselves. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, this outfit wasn't as good for the perving on it aspect as I thought it was. So yeah, I'm 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 still gonna be rocking this, which is still the best outfit in the game, by the way. This whole layered armor setup that I've got here is still the best fucking outfit that I've made in this game yet. The only thing I'm not 100% sold on is the hat, but I got nothing better than the hat, and the hat still works really well with the set. It still works really well with the set. If I find a better layered hat, I'll switch to that. But everything else is rock fucking solid, and this outfit looks goddamn incredible. I love the white and the gold look to it. It all actually, bl despite being three different sets of armor, it actually all blends together really, really well. Um, and on uh, like bit with the commission logo on the back and like the mini cape and then the long skirt cape at the bottom and everything It looks like a professional outfit Like when they talk about the sapphire star and just being like the leader of all the hunters the person who's like the best hunter This looks like the uniform. This looks like a uniform that they could wear because it's just like a very elegant um, Proud armor set again having the commission logo on the back in the sun that you can't see there But having the commission logo on the back really does help it But this outfit still looks fucking incredible and I've seen no one else even come close to wearing this But I still have to thank that one person that I saw like lightning or something in that one lobby that one time who had the White Dante clothes because that's the whole reason that I wore the white Dante stuff which led to this This is still the best anyway next episode um so it's gonna be weird. Uh, the next episode I'm going, I'm gonna put out will likely be Behemoth, but it's not the next episode I'm recording, cause we are rapidly approaching towards the end of the Appreciation Fest. I am just gonna like hard focus on recording the Arch Shepherd stuff before it ends, but I don't want to upload like five or six Arch Shepherd things in a row, so I'm gonna like break it up with Behemoth, and then at some point the Witcher quest is out, which I also have to do because it's on a time limit. But uh, one week longer than the Appreciation Fest for the Ancient Lesson. Which will happen after Behemoth, because apparently it's harder than Behemoth. Which is fucked! Uh, yeah, apparently Ancient Legend is super fucked, and 100% designed for uh, multiplayer difficulty. So, I'll have to do that. I'm gonna do that with people. Anyway, seven Behemoth. Anyway, next episode that goes up will likely be Behemoth, unless I can't do Behemoth with randoms. In which case, Kushala Deora, which is probably the next thing I'm gonna record, and probably record it, like, right now. Which I'm fucking terrified of, because I don't know how to fight it. Because I can't flash it out of the sky. I might just still try and flashbot it a bunch so it's blind while it's in the sky so it can't fucking hit me. I have not decided yet. So, until that terrifying moment, this is version 2, signing out.